Okay, now we're going to go over assemblies and joints in Fusion. So we have a component that we made. It's actually a 3D body. And we have this open place. So in order to assemble the thing we want to assemble, let's first save this project and just name it something. And now we have a blank workspace. And we can go into our um, sidebar here and take a look at the things that we want to drag in. So here's something that I want to drag in. So I just click and drag it in. It just shows up here. You can move it around if it makes it um, more convenient. But I'm just hit enter. And as you can see in our timeline, we've inserted our first component. Now our next component is going to be a servo. So I'm going to navigate. Okay, I found the servo and I'm going to drag it in. You'll see it kind of like bumps into this other component, but that's okay because as long as we have access to the place where we're going to put the joint to join these two components together, it doesn't matter. So let's just hit enter. Okay, so the way we're going to put these components together is through these mounting holes. It's just kind of like in real life. If you wanted to bolt something down, that's where the joint is going to go. So we have these bolt holes here. So let's use a joint. Let's up here and assemble. And let's go ahead and we're going to select our first component. As you can see over here, it says select. Now, in a joint, you can select either a face or um, circles. Circles are the best, in my opinion, because it allows you to, to mount things like using bolts. Um, it also allows you to rotate. So let's just select this outer face. And we're going to move it up to its corresponding location over here. So you notice that it kind of looks like messed up and doesn't work. But there's actually a button down here that if you think you did it right, then you could try hitting the flip key. And half the time it works. So in this case, yep, yeah, we've mounted using a joint. And if we go over here to motion, we can specify the different types of joint. So the, the most used kind is a rigid joint, which basically is like mounting something with a bolt. It doesn't move, um, and it's just securely attached. You can also do a revolute joint. And that, that gives it a little flag, which allows it to rotate around that point. There are other types of joints, but they're a little more niche. So now we've assembled that. Let's do one more, let's do one more example using a custom auto arm, or claw arm. So let's drag it in, hit enter. Okay, so now we got the arm in. Let's use another joint. And we're going to select this cylinder and this cylinder. And let's use these little arrows to finely tune our joint to make sure that everything fits right. Okay, great. Looks good. One last thing that we want to do. This, this might not be what our claw looks like or our mechanism looks like in real life. So let's just adjust that so that it's kind of where we want it. And all these arrows and this rotation are important for getting it in the right place. So right now it's a rigid joint, but we can also make it a revolute joint or a slider or some other things. I'll show you the revolute joint. Basically just allows the joint to move around the component. And we're actually gonna do that one since this arm can move up and down based on this servo. So it's the most realistic. Okay, so that's pretty much it for assemblies and joints. As you can see down here, our joints are not named, so it might be important to rename them, especially if you're working with a lot of different components. So let's just call this arm joint. And that just makes it super easy to find later.